Well, hello everyone. This is Marisol from Orchidias en el Mundo, Orchids in the World. I am going to show you some tips how to grow orchids inside and outside at our homes. And in my personal opinion, Google is a woman. So, you start typing, searching for something and I give you a bunch of options. Yes, I do have my collection of Phalaenopsis novelties hanging on walls. Yes, I will show you in a future and share my tips how to grow them and how make them rebloom. I am going to give you a quick view of the collection of orchids that I have inside of my house. First of all, I am going to give you a quick view of all my green letters, as some of my neighbors call to my orchids when they are not in bloom. But let me show you something. I do have some of them in buds also. Some of them about to pop up the flowers and some of them in full bloom. How amazing is that, isn't it? And of course, I cannot miss to show you this beautiful Miltoniopsis orchid. This was a rescue orchid that someone gave it to me. The past year I rescued, I have a video in Spanish, but I'm going to try to do most of the videos that I have in Spanish also translated in English. I'm working on, hang on. So my intention with all this is to share with all of you how to grow orchids inside and outside depends of the type of weather that we have. I love all type of orchids and most of them in my collection are hybrids. Well, we all know why. This is United States and in here not everybody have species handled, but I do have few of them that I purchased online. As we all know right now, internet is something amazing to find everything what we need. In my videos, you are going to see all type of medias that I use to collect my orchids and to grow them inside. Type of fertilizers that I use, everything about orchids, pots, media, organic fertilizers, and how to create environment for them to grow successfully. I do like to share all type of methods that I use to grow my orchids because as you can see I don't use the same thing to grow them. I'll tell you in the future why and how I keep going with my wonderful collection of orchids. This is a Miltoniopsis orchid. This is one of the orchids that everybody qualified as hard growing orchid. Personal opinion, I don't think it's a hard to grow Miltoniopsis or Miltonia orchids. It's about the information that we have of them, pots, like I said, and also type of media where we want to grow them. This is my Dendrobium Stardust Firebird. It's going so beautiful. It hasn't bloomed for me the first time, but it seems like it's going to do, and I am so happy about it. 